everybody out there in YouTube land. This is Jen and Christian's with me and we've got a contest entry. So if you want to hear our answers to the Collector Man's 250 contest, stick around. So the Collector Man, what he the hell homie. are you doing? He good homie. He is. He is. He's, he's left us a couple really nice comments on of some of the videos and he's also left us some nice things on Facebook. Very cool, chill dude. Very cool. I he love collection. him. collection. Yeah. Uh, as name implies, he is a man who collects. And he has and some has nice And a good things. collection. Good background noise. Yes, very good. Um, And, and he's already got up to a 250 and that's quite an achievement. Congratulations. And I have a feeling we'll be here not too far, much longer for you when you're at your thousand it'll go like that you this went pretty quickly for you so i would imagine the rest will too like christian said good dude good dude to listen to and you have three questions for this contest what are the questions favorite halloween based horror film or halloween adjacent horror film <laughs> okay well i could give like the standard answer which would be halloween 4 because i love that movie but even as much as i love halloween 4 there is one other halloween eccentric movie that that I watch even more and that would be Tales of Halloween the anthology um I fucking love that one I I dare to say I even like it a little more than trick-or-treat Ooh yeah yeah I, I love trick-or-treat don't get me wrong but there's something very special about Tales of Halloween and I actually think it's a a great that, that that's like quintessential Halloween Bottom. I agree with that. I agree with that. Yeah I, I love all the segments my favorite one of course is the Gretel and Hansel one <laughs> I love that. I know. Pollyanna and Macintosh it's, and Lucky McKee. You can't go wrong. No, you can't. What about you? Uh, cliche answer. Cliche answer. You can guess in the comments because you're probably right. It's Halloween 3. Uh, Halloween 3 is the part of the franchise that embodies the holiday better than any others. The movie screams October and the holiday of Halloween. It's the only one of the franchise where the plot actually revolves around the holiday. Conan Cochran's a fun villain. It's a story about children getting their heads done blown up by Halloween masks. I mean, that's not anything... What, what's more festive than that? You know, you got kids... Dead kids and Halloween masks and fucking sexy Tom Adkins. Yeah. Yeah. Rapey or just sexy? Just sexy Tom just sexy. Adkins. Because, you know, she's kind of uh, you young know. for him. It's Tom Adkins. It's fine. It's fine <laughs> if it's Tom Adkins. He's sexy. Anyway, question two. Favorite horror movie score? Ooh, this one's hard. Uh, I, I told Christian, but Christian was like, does it count? I was going to say Escape from New York. And I guess, to be fair, that doesn't really count, although it is in a fucking amazing score. Well, I'm Carpenter's best. I'm going to go with, um, actually, I'm... I'm going to change my answer. I Ooh. was going to go with The Omen, but I think I'm going to go with the instrumental version from Fright Night. Ooh. Brad Ferdell, I think, is yeah, how you Yeah, Fright Night score is really good. Yeah, that... Da, na, 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 na. Yeah, I like that. It's very synth-heavy. It's I show, it's showing my age because I'm an 80s baby. It's very synth-heavy, and I just really... And Come to Me is what it was called. And you have an instrumental version, and then you actually have a version the vocals, where yeah. the vocals where he's singing on it. And um, both are pretty amazing, but I actually think I like the instrumental the best out of the two, so I'm gonna go with Fright Night, the instrumental from Fright Night. Good fucking choice. Thank I didn't even you. think of that Come one. Come to me, yeah. I didn't even think of that one. Uh, Phantasm. Phantasm score is that's God, a great one. Goddamn amazing. It captures and embodies the film perfectly. It's, it's the music you'd listen to. You fucking imagine what a fucking dream sounds like. Exactly. That's what the fucking movie is too. So yeah, I'd say it fits the movie the best, and it's just excellent. Goddamn music, even removed from the film, it's still even. It's still excellent even then. Yeah, there are a, there are so many, and I'm really curious to hear about everyone's answers for this because there are so many. There's good a lot scores. of great goddamn scores, especially a lot of stuff that people don't talk about much. True. Okay, last question. Oh, okay, last question. What is a movie that you love the fucking shit passionately, want to kiss and make out with it constantly? Chris and Sedan! And everybody, and everybody else thinks they're a goddamn harlot, tramp, piece of shit movie. Um, for me that would be Psycho Three, cause I live with someone who hates Psycho. I don't hate Psycho Three. I wish he just, just admit it. One of these days he's gonna be on camera. He's gonna finally admit it. No, it, it's just it'll the be a burden it's, off your chest. It's just the least good of the original oh, four See, ology. that's where you're wrong. Yeah, I. Everyone always laughs at me for this, but I fucking love. Psycho 3. I don't think it gets near enough love as all the other ones do. And I don't understand why, because we go into such a 
yes, we go in a very different direction from the first two, and it's, it's, Norman Bates really shows his brutality in this one, which we I don't guess. see as much, and I like it, and I love the backstory at the end, and I love there is no God being said by a nun. I don't know, there's just something just profoundly awesome about that. Um, I love that. I love that movie. So, yeah, that's my answer is Psycho 3. Fuck you, you're wrong. It's a great one. I don't... All right, so Hot Shot, what's yours? Uh, my favorite Hot Shots movie? That would be part two. <laughs> um, no, uh, Hot... God damn it, you ruined me. Um, uh, Howling... Howling, no, I'm gonna go with Howling 3, because Howling 2 has a cult following and people like that movie. Nobody fucking talks about Howling 3, which is a crime they should, because that movie has goddamn where kangaroo thylacine fuckers. It's awesome. They're fucking, Aust it's in Australia, and they're fucking were marsupials. It it's delightful. It's, it's, it's actually a pretty fun werewolf movie. I, I genuinely do kind of think it, it definitely needs a bit of a cult blog. It doesn't reach the heights and magic that and ridiculousness that Howling 2 does, so I can kind of understand why it doesn't have as big of a cult following as that film, but it needs to have at least a somewhat of a cult following. It's definitely a weird, odd little film that deserves more attention. It's a, it's a movie. Fuck you and fuck Sean. They're good, <laughs> it's a good, the, the Howling sequels are good to a point. To a point. Looking at you, Howling 8. <laughs> Fucking country music video ass movie. Oh, that's where you draw the line, I see. I see where the bar has been upheld. Oh, was that the last question? Last, last question. Awesome. These were fun questions. I'm glad you asked them, Collector Man, because um, I really had fun with this uh, tag. Um, it's kind of nice to be doing some tags and some um, contest, contest and stuff and all that. It's kind of fun. We haven't done any in a while, and now we're starting to do them again. I feel it's perking up my blood. So thank you so much. Um, congratulations again on 250. That's like such an amazing accomplishment. You're going to be to 1,000 before you know it. And uh, thank you again, and thanks for just being our, uh, such a good friend of the channel um we really do appreciate you and anyone who hasn't already subscribed to the collector man go ahead and hit that subscribe button on his channel christian will leave the link below what the hell i'm below like the link okay oh that's 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 clever darling i know it, it's a visual <laughs> gag i quite like those <laughs> okay so with all that out of the way booze and ghouls as always we've hoped you've enjoyed this video and if you have and after you've hit the collector man subscribe button if you're new around here and you happen to like the contents of this channel please hit the subscribe button on this channel as well because we appreciate we appreciate every each and every one of you guys and by the way and with all that out of the way we'll wish you a good day a good evening and we'll talk to you guys real soon bye guys are you just gonna hang down below yo okay yo yo yogi bear yo yogi yo yogi yo yogi yo whoa yes there really was a flintstones kids like show but with yogi bear he was in a mall and there was this punk skater girl fucking bear that he totally wanted to fuck who is Boo Boo his son or just his like weird sex slave? I always thought it was like his pimp. Yeah, yeah. You, you maybe maybe Boo maybe Yogi's the slut and fucking Boo Boo's the pimp. Yeah, that, that makes sense to me. Boo Boo was a player. <laughs>